Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD, and today, guys, I want to show you a pesky little error that I received with Windows Server 2016 Technical Preview 3. I'm testing out the server because I'm going to be doing pretty soon, hopefully, uh, some container uh, videos. But for some reason, I re I'm receiving this problem. Now, my Windows Server 2016 is part of Active Directory, it is a, a domain controller. But I started playing around with it and certain applications always give me this error. Can't be open using the built-in administrative account, sign in with a different account and try again. Again, I'm signed in as an Active Directory uh, administrative account. I'm not logged in as the local administrative account, so I don't know why I'm receiving this. I did a re little research and it looks like there's a couple of things that you guys need to do. So let's do a Windows R. And within the Windows R, you're going to type in is sec pool.msc security policy microsoft console let's press ok on that okay once that loads up let me double click on this to expand it a little bit there you go we want to get into the local policies within local policies we want to get into the security options and within the security options you guys want to go into the section that says admin approval so let me just adjust this like this and the one that we want is called where is it here it goes the one that we want is called user account control and it's admin approval mode for built-in administrated uh, accounts we want to enable this and we want to hit apply i'm going to press ok i'm going to close that now the next thing that we need to do is we need to get into our registry so let's go reg edit hit ok because we need to do one more modification and then we could do a reboot and then we could test it out. So we need to get into our uh, HKey local machine. Uh, we need to get into software, Microsoft. Let me expand this a little bit. Within Microsoft, we want to get into Windows. So it's all the way, let's go all the way to the bottom. And Windows current version. And I'm going to expand this a little bit here. There we go. We want to get into the policy node. Within the policy node, you guys want to get into the system. And within system, we want to get into the UIPI node. We want to double click on this. And the value data that you want to enter here would be 0x70s. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then a 1. Open parentheses, 1, and then close the parentheses. And then we're going to press OK. And then we're going to close that and we are going to restart the machine. So let me restart the machine. I'm going to send a control or delete, restart the machine. And once the machine restarts, we're going to test it out. All right, let me log into my machine. And we're going to test out that reg hack as well as our security policy that we pushed out to our server. Okay, now we're inside our desktop. So let me click on the start menu. Let me go to all apps and let's pick the same application that was having issues. Let's go inside the Xbox game UI. I don't know why Windows Server would have that application in there, but it looks like it's loading up. I didn't receive the, the dialog box stating that um, the built-in administrative account can load it up and is loading. Super excited. Awesome. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video on how to fix that whole can't open the app because you're using a built-in administrative account. If you have any questions or comments, leave them at the bottom of the video. Don't forget about hitting that like button because it does support the video as well as this guy. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.